Hi, my name is Sheila. I am a North Carolina licensed attorney. I focus mostly on business law, but I do a bunch of other things too. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about working with other people and why it's something you should really think long and hard about before you jump into that big pool and say, hey, let's stick together and maybe start a business or do a project or put together a joint venture. You want to think about that before you do it. Why? Because there's so much at stake. There are business implications, tax implications, and legal implications. Well, how do you find out about this other person? What are some of the things you should be looking at? Well, the easiest thing to do is to do a Google search. That's the first place you want to start. You want to see what pops up, anything negative, positive. It gives you an idea of, hmm, do I need to do further research on some of the things that pop up. Second, ask around and look around. See what kinds of reviews might already be out there about the person if they have a business. If not, take a look at social media. See what's going on on their page. See what they share. See how they respond to other people. It may not necessarily be that this person is a bad person. It may be more that this person is just not a good fit for you and what you have in mind. And so that's something else that you wanna take into account. You also wanna to start to do some research on some more technical sorts of things. And so you can check public records. You can check for bankruptcies. You can check real property records. You can check for tax liens. All of those things are indicators about a person's financial position. Now, just because some things pop up doesn't necessarily mean don't go into business with them or don't do this project with them. It just means that you want to open the door and ask more questions. People run into financial difficulties all the time. Sometimes they are completely out of their control and sometimes mistakes happen and hey, maybe that that's not even their record. So you definitely want to give them an opportunity to respond to some of the information that you find. You also want to see what their current relationships are, organizational commitments, family commitments, just other general responsibilities. If you're bringing this other person in, you want to know whether or not they're actually going to be able to do the work that you're thinking you're both going to share. So you want to make sure you communicate and have an open conversation about all of these different things. You definitely want to do your research in advance. So let's talk about some of the consequences. Well, if you're bringing someone on board who maybe already is under an obligation to another company, you might be competing with a prior employer and that might put you in a position of, hey, interrupting that business relationship. You could possibly be sued. And so again, you want to ask, hey, what kinds of relationships do you already have? What do your business practices look like? That's why you really want to make sure you're communicating the whole time. Other legal implications. If this person is really not somebody who's always on the up and up, maybe they've engaged in some fraudulent activities. Maybe those late payments were the result of some other financial issues. There might have been some securities and exchange commission violations that make it impossible for you to do business with them because of bad actor clauses that the SEC has. And so you definitely need to make sure that you're taking a look at all of these things because, hey, if you bring someone on, it could be that your company gets sued and then you personally get sued also. So you want to make sure that you do a really good job of vetting the other person and that you understand what the implications are if you bring this person on and you have not truly vetted them. Make sure you take a look at the description below if you'd like to schedule a legal consultation. I have a calendar that you can access 24 seven, just so you can say, Sheila, I want to know more about the questions I should be asking. I also have courses available on Udemy and books available on Amazon. All of the links are below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there are other videos that you would love to have me talk about. Thanks.